guys, this is Heather from HealthyVeganRecipes.net. So today I'm going to show you a really simple recipe for some steamed vegetables. But I'm going to show you a technique that kind of borders on steaming called water sautéing. A lot of people have been asking me about how exactly to do this, so I thought I would just show you that. For anyone who wants the exact directions and measurements, head over to HealthyVeganRecipes.net. I will post everything right there. So this dish is going to start with some mushrooms, which I've got chopped up here. And I've got a pot that I've got up to medium heat. And then you want to add enough liquid to just cover the bottom surface of the pot. And you can use water or vegetable stock if you want more flavor. Or another thing I love to use for flavor is wine. So I've got some white wine here. This is really the most important part, so I want to make sure you can see that's how much liquid there is. So it'll depend how wide your pot is as to how much liquid you're gonna use. The reason you want to use not very much is because if you use more liquid, it'll dilute the flavor of your vegetables. So the less you're able to use, the more concentrated vegetable flavor you're gonna get. Then you just give a little sprinkle of salt that helps the vegetable cook better and faster. Give it a little stir around to make, su make sure everything gets a little bit wet and gets a little bit of salt. And then, if you don't want all of your liquid to evaporate, put a lid on. And then while that's cooking, just keep chopping up vegetables and adding them to the pot. Just add them as you go from longest cooking time to shortest cooking time. So next up is gonna be sweet potato, and then some onion, and then some broccoli and then some fresh green edamame beans. As you stir each vegetable in, give it a little extra pinch of salt. That helps draw the moisture out and make sure that your pot isn't gonna get too dry. If it does start getting really dry on the bottom, you can add a little bit more liquid. You can also turn this down once the mushrooms get cooked. You don't want it up too high, so I turned it down to four. And then keep the lid on as much as possible because that'll also help keep the moisture in there. And then just let this cook as long as you like. Because I've got sweet potato in here and I want to get it really nice and soft, I'm actually going to turn this down to low and let it cook for quite a while, maybe 20 minutes or so. And then I'm going to get it dressed. I've already made my dressing. It's a miso-based dressing and I've already filmed this, so I'll just post a link to this recipe. Then once my veggies are cooked, I'll just drizzle them with this dressing, serve it up, and I've got an excellent easy and healthy meal. So my sweet potato is now nice and soft. So I'm gonna get some of this into a bowl, drizzle some of my dressing on top, and it'll be super tasty. 